everyone, happy Wednesday night and welcome to our weekly stamp and chat, not stamp and chat, our weekly crafting video. I am excited to be with you tonight. Oh my gosh, that threw me all off. Let's start that again. Welcome to our weekly crafty session videos. My name is Ann Granger and I'm an independent stamp and demonstrator from the beautiful town of Dorchester, Ontario, Canada, and I'm excited to be with you. Each week, I pick a product of the week and I go live on Mondays at 7 p.m. Eastern Time and Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And that um, showcasing, showcasing our beautiful products. Oh my gosh, I'm all mumble jumbled tonight. Let's take a deep breath. All right, relax. I'll tell you why I'm so like crazy busy. You'll see it. Anyways, so welcome, welcome to our weekly crafty session video. Um, my, as I said, my name is Ann Granger. Welcome to my happy place, aka my stamp room. This is where you will find me many nights. Um, I love coming in here after a busy day at work. I love putting on some music. I love grabbing some projects or a kit to stamp with. And it really just truly de-stresses me from the day, takes me away from the outside world and what's happening in life and just lets me have that relaxing downtime. So I'm excited to be with you tonight. I'm popping on just a few minutes after seven so Facebook can let you know I've gone live and it gives me a chance to check my settings. I hope you've had a great day. It was a coolie day here. It was like, actually it wasn't cool, it was sunny, but windy, very windy, and then it rained. So we haven't had rain in a very long time, but it rained after school was done and it was just what our gardens and everything needs. So, um, just let me check, checking my settings here. As I said, it's been a crazy week. I'm going to tell you why. I have a huge event on Saturday and I have been prepping like crazy. You should see my other side of my table. There is totes sitting on my tables. There are boxes on my tables. There's totes on my bench. I still have more things to do, but I did not want to cancel our weekly crafty sessions because I know many people look forward to those. Um, whether you're watching on the live, you're joining me tonight, it is Wednesday, October 23rd. Can you believe that? And if you're catching me on the replay, maybe you found me over on my blog or on my YouTube. Thank you. Thank you. We're great. I'm so grateful for each one of you that watch my videos, each one that joins me live. Um, it truly, it feeds my passion and I love sharing my creativity with you guys. Um, if you uh, are following me on my blog or YouTube, make sure you sign up for my newsletters because that is the best way to know what's happening in my studio. Plus, you guys are always the first one to find out what we do on, a, on our weekly Facebook lives. So tonight, we are showcasing um, a bundle from the um, September to December. It's a super cute bundle. So if you have not looked at this, you might want to look at it in a different way after tonight. Um, I have been seeing a lot of samples with this this week on my social media. So I feel there's a lot of us demonstrators showcasing this this week, which means it's a we all think alike, right? It's the same thing. I am showcasing Snowy Wonder. I love this set because it has those great greetings, but you can intermix the images and make your own little snowy scenes. And then um, it has these matching dyes. So we, I'm going to show you where you can find that. And I have a lot to share with you. And I have four cards to um, make with you tonight. Those four cards, you can actually earn the card packs for free. Um, as my way of saying thank you when you place an order in my online store. So anyone who orders from Monday night, uh, which was the 21st to 20 Sunday the 27th I will send you this week's projects in the mail plus if you're here in Canada plus I will send you the PDF in this link to the video so you was like you're watching and sitting in your craft room crafting with me all right we're gonna flip the table uh, flip the table I'm not gonna flip my table oh my god that would be crazy I'm telling you it was a crazy day at work I swear when it's windy it makes the kids a little squirrely I'm going to flip my camera you're going to see how crazy tape my table is packed and then we're going to get started all right flipping my camera you can kind of see I've got some totes and everything like that like I said I'm doing a big holiday saray on Saturday we are a full house um, and I am so so excited I cannot wait um, I love doing big events like that it just feeds my soul um, so we're busy prepping. Everything is prepped and ready to go. We literally just have to, I just have to pack up my supplies and I'm going to do that tomorrow night because I needed some of them for tonight's videos. All right. 
First thing I want to talk to you about because I would not be doing my job as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator if I did not share with you the best deal in town. The best deal in town, honestly, is our starter kit. If you are a person who loves to shop, if you are a person who loves a discount, if you are a person who loves um, seeing sneak peeks, if you're a person who loves to be part of a community, wants to meet new friends, wants to be in a community with like-minded like crafters, wants to bounce creativity ideas, whatever you are looking for, my Stamp to Create team would love to have you. We're a good big group here in Canada. Uh, so right now, only have a few more days, like literally, um, you can take advantage of our Shark Kit special. So you get to add $206 worth of product, you only pay $135, which is a steal of a deal. Um, and then you're gonna get sneak peeks, you're gonna see our new January to April catalog that will be released for demonstrators in November. You'll be invited to um, special events if you like want to come. We would love to have you. Not to worry, I will be doing some behind the scenes with you on Saturday during my uh, holiday soiree event. All right, so that is the starter cake special. Wanted to share, tonight we are using some of the two-tone cardstock. You can find that two-tone cardstock in our scrapbooking brochure. This scrapping brochure, scrapbooking brochure, coordinates with our mini catalog. There is four suites in, I'm gonna call them suites, four kits, and two of them coordinate with products in here. I have shown many times the wonderful two-tone paper, but we are gonna be using it tonight. The two-tone paper you can buy individually in Garden Green, Pool Party, Real Red, or Black. Um, and you get 12 sheets. Plus, you can buy our new white willow, which is a beautiful, pure white. It also comes in 12 by 12. But then back here, so the set we're using tonight is called Snowy Scenes, and it actually coordinates with the snow day in the uh, scrapbooking and brochure. So you can get a scrapbooking workshop kit, and I featured that on Monday night. I will be uploading that video of the next couple days, I need to take a picture of my layout. And by the time I got home, it was raining. Um, but then you can go in and buy the cardstock, and that's what we're going to be using some tonight. You can get the Snow Day stamp set and the designer series paper and sticker sheets, which is all right here. Um, so you have that. And I have shared with you many times our fabulous two tone cardstock, but let me just quickly show you it. Um, maybe you're new and you found me and you're like, what the heck is she talking about? What is she talking about? Two tone cardstock? I don't know. White Willow, so what our two-tone is, it is 12 by 12, it is smooth paper. One side is dark, one side is light, so you can see, I just cut these in a six by six so I can show everybody. Um, pecan Pie, I really like the black. You kind of get like a black, but you also get a gray. Early Espresso reminds me of um, our old chocolate chip color we used to have, so that's a great one. Mossy Mellow. You can see those shades there. I find when it's a darker shade, you can really see the difference, but when it's lighter, it's harder. Uh, Gorgeous Great, if you're a purple fan. Uh, Cajun Craze. Old Olive. Real red, you can really see the difference. Um, and it actually, I kind of, comparison, I've been telling on my videos, that compare it to like our stamping blends. You get a light and a dark shade. So they're almost similar. Garden Green, Poppy Parade, Granny Apple Green, Pumpkin Pie, Paddle Pink, and Pool Party. So those are the colors that you can get right now. As I said, I showed you that some of them come in 12 by 12 packs, but others call it, come in assorted packs. All right, mini catalog, September to December. We are two months into this catalog. We only have two months left of this catalog, which is so hard to believe. Tonight, we are showcasing the Snowy Scene uh, Suite. Uh, so Snowy Scene Suite, sweet, but we're focusing on the Bundle and Designer Series paper. You can find us on page 32 and 33 of our catalog. Super cute. Look at all those fun projects. You can use it for tags, shaker cards, um, greeting cards, lots you can do. And then here is the product. So one shop stopping, one stop shopping, 
push in this number right here and you will get all of these products. We're gonna show you individually these products tonight and then we're gonna dive into our cards. As I said, you should see my table, it's a mess. Like it's so crazy. Here is the gorgeous stamp set. It's a photo Palmer stamp set, which is meant for two-step stamping, where you can intermix the scenes. I've seen some really cute cards with these. As I said, it is a photo Palmer, and a lot of these have dies that coordinate with it. So here are the dies. They're called Snow Wonder dies. Sorry, this is the stamp set of Snow Wonder. The dies are Snow Wonder. This here actually cuts out snow globes, and we're going to do that tonight. So I'm going to show you that. But you can stamp and cut, or you can just choose to fussy cut. So that is the DS, uh, sorry, the stamp set. In this collection also is these adorable white loose snowflakes. Now, I didn't use these on my projects because these are actually for my event on, on Saturday, but I wanted to show you what they look like. Isn't that cute? So cute, little snowflakes. And when I went to order more, they were not available, but they are, I believe, available now. Okay, so those are called lo White Loose uh, Snowflakes. So that is a great one. And then I'm gonna show you the Gorgeous Designer Series paper. So if you're looking for the uh, number, it's right here, Snowy Scenes. Uh, so you got your definitely different colors of pinks and blues and reds, which is really pretty got some traditional color, um, patterns but then you got some fun scene patterns and that's what we're going to look at tonight all right so let's dive into this these cards tonight let me just see here which one uh, let's start with this one so I have done a lot of the uh, some of the uh, die cutting already and I'm going to show you so let me show you the card we're making this one was a case sort of a case from a demonstrator, her name's Judy Tuttle. Uh, Judy is a US demonstrator, and I really liked the layout, so I kind of used the layout, but switched it up. Uh, we are using that two-tone um, Forever Plaid DSP, not DSP, oh my gosh, Forever Plaid Embossing Folder. Um, we've used this, if you've been following me on my Mondays and Wednesdays, we've definitely used this. It's great for sanding, um, and I've shown you how to do that. So this one is in our September to December catalog. So that is a great one that you might want to add to your list. Okay, so here's our card. Let me just put that there. All right, we're using Poppy Parade as our base. Right here. Make sure you purchase, if you're new to Stampin' Up! or maybe you've been around, one of my best tips is you want a bone folder and it helps crease the paper, make it lay flat. We have that piece of pool party that we're going to emboss. We already have, so we're just gonna set that aside. This is the designer series paper snow scene. So we're gonna go ahead and put that down because we can do that right now. Okay. Nice. Holly. Holly is very symbol symbol of Christmas. I've already gone ahead and cut out my dies and I wanted to show you they came from the Christmas greeting, greetings of the season. So this you can find online and it coordinates with the greetings of the season stamp set. Um, these dies are amazing. They're meant for tags, but I use them way more than tags. I use them for every day. Yes, it cuts out this little hole, but we're going to cover that up so you're not even going to see it. So that's greetings of the season. So we're just going to move these off to the side. We're going to bring in that our big stamp and cut and boss. Um, and we're going to use... Let me put some... Like I said, my gosh, I need a bigger desk some days. We are using the um, Forever Plaid embossing folder. So this is our... Something to note. It is... A little thicker it's our in 3d ones but it's the same size as our base so it's actually six by eight and a half so you definitely need a big stamp and cut for that um, I'm not sure if it fits in other machines I just don't know that answer because I only use Stampin' Up products so all right we're going to put in our embossing folder our paper into our embossing folder and we're going to emboss it if you're here with me, say hello. 
If I don't see your comment, please know that I will go back and answer it. Um, sometimes I miss it when it's scrolling through the screen or sometimes I just, you know. Um, all right. Let's put that off the side. Okay, so there's that forever plaid. Isn't that nice? We're going to go ahead, bring back in our pieces, and adhere this down. I think when I first saw the holiday catalog, so as a demonstrator, we got to see it in like the middle of July and pre-order started for us in August. Uh, this was the first thing I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get that embossing folder. I'm a huge fan of embossing folders. I think for the price point, they're a really cool tool to add to your collection because there's so much you can do with it. Even though this is part of the reindeer, reindeer suite, Reindeer Day Suite, you can use it for much more than holiday cards. So that's what I love about it. All right, uh, we're just gonna put that down there. Okay, we're gonna bring in Garden Green. Um, my job tomorrow night is I have to re-ink all my green stamp pads, gather up all the supplies. I'm gonna take a picture of my card to show you guys what that looks like. Um, <clears throat> so I'm super, super excited. We are using the greeting, Seasons Greeting, which I think is a great one. I'm not sure we actually, it's a nice font. I am going to put it on a paper piercer just because it is more of a solid word and I wanna make sure that I get that um, crisp, clean, stamped image. All right, so Seasons Greetings. <clears throat> and we're gonna use that again. So we did that, so I'm Okay, put that there. Now we're going to use um, this, oops, I already have it. So what we're using is the iridescent uh, ribbon. I do believe this is currently not available, but I like to show you things sometimes when they're not available because I feel if you don't see them, you miss out, but then you're like, oh, I really like that. And then you keep an eye for when it comes back in. But it is a super one. I love how it picks up the things. So we're using that one and I've already got a piece cut. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to put some tape at the back and we're just going to lay down one and we're gonna fold it over. So we're kind of making like a little tag. Now that is way more than I need, so that's okay. We're gonna bring in those paper snips um, and there we go. Put that there. Let's put those there. We're going to grab some dimensionals. Now, I like to sometimes put dimensionals where I've secured that ribbon. It helps it hold it in place. So let's pull that back in. Oh my gosh, I can't. All right, there we go. Now, as I said to you, I pulled in different uh, ribbons because I, sorry, different embellishments. I was looking through my embellishment stash and I was like, what can I use? Because as I said, I did have the snowflakes, but they're for, event, for my event. So I decided that I would use the, um, these are called the dots for the day, dots for days, and it's pool party, garden green, crush curry, and flirty flamingo. So I kind of thought it went with my colors that I was using. Now, we're gonna, I don't know if that will work. Ooh, let's do that, I meant to do that over here. Um, okay, we're gonna put maybe one there, and let's put them, oh, where'd that go? It's still stuck there there so we'll do those so there is our first card for the evening featuring the seasons of the greeting stamp set i'm sorry the snow wonder bundle that is our seasons greeting card this i feel like is one that you can easily mass produce um i think it's a great card for mailing too there's not a lot of thickness on it so there's card number one all right, so let's go to card number two. 
So card number two, I looked for inspiration on the in the catalog. I always, when I sit down with a design, I go, okay, where? Let's see what the concept artist did. Then I'll go to Pinterest. And sometimes like when I'm searching, like scrolling through Facebook or Instagram at night, and I know that I'm going to be working on a pro um, product in the upcoming weeks, I'll start saving layouts. So I'll show you the card we are making tonight. Now this one was kind of a case from the mini. September to December. This one is a snow globe. I saw this layout and I really liked how, um, I think I saw this idea on Pinterest where they did like three different layers, but they kind of did like an embossing in the middle. So I really liked that. And then they created a snow globe. Um, so this is the card we're going to make tonight. All right, so we have our thick white. We have our garden green. I have two pieces of the um, Snow Scenes Designer Series paper. So one is gonna go there, and one is gonna go there. And then this is the piece we're going to emboss. And then I have already cut out two banners, and if you follow me, you know that I'm a huge fan of the stylish shape dies. So I've already went ahead and cut those dies out for us, and there's this stuff right there. Just in case you want to see that. It's a great set. You get 15 circles, dies, and banners. You can't go wrong there. Okay, so that is that. Now, we're going to pull this aside just for a minute because we do need to do some uh, embossing and cutting. So, we're going to bring this back in. We're going to bring back in our embossing folder. Now, I try to line it up on these square, like within the rect, the frames, so that just helps when you're embossing it so it doesn't look like it's off kiltered. Okay, so we're going to emboss that. Okay, so there's that piece. Now, while we still have this, we're going to do some die cutting. So there's the boss piece. We're using that forever plaid once again. So as I said, it's a very versatile set that you can use multiple times. Now, while I have this here, we're gonna do a little bit of cutting. So in the designer series paper, you get a sheet that looks like this. I just cut it down. So it's 12 by 12 and it has snow globes on it. And then on the back side, it has snowflakes. So this, actually coordinates with the dies that are in the snow wonder so there is the one to create the snow globe top and then there is the one to create the bottom so you can cut it out but then there's also the ones to do these ones so you actually get uh, four, eight, 12 snow globes on one page. And then obviously this would go here. So this is the one we're going to do. Now, I did this one on my project, but I think I might cut this one out to show you the difference. So let's use that one. I think it's super cute. So when I was creating my cards on the weekend, I actually did the snow globe part first. So we're going to I put that down and I just find I like to use posty tape you can use washi tape just to secure those dies in place so I hate it drives me crazy when I cut I stamp and color and I move die cut and it moves on me so I like to use posty notes to keep it in place all right so let's just pull that out and I'll show you isn't that super cute? Okay, doesn't that make you want to go into a Christmas store and pick up all the snow globes and shake them? I love that. It's like one of my favorite things to do. Um, there, there's that. So we're going to go back and cut. Uh, when my daughter and I were traveling, we were actually at, uh, on stage and it was in Montreal. Uh, my daughter came with me and we were walking. She wanted to go visit. She's big on like restaurants and tours and all that and we found this adorable Christmas store oh my gosh it was so cute it was filled with snow globes it was filled with stockings and 
uh, the North Poles, the North Pole Department 56. Oh my gosh, I could have spent hours in the store. It was just like, you know, you would walk in and you would turn a corner and there would be a whole new section. It was so cute. Um, we actually bought our puppy a stocking there because I was like, I hummed and hawed. And I was like, no, we already have one. But it was one of those stockings that was so unique that you're like, yeah, you should get it. Because I knew if I didn't, I would be so disappointed by the time I got home. So we actually bought it. And it was super cute. But I love stores like that. I love like finding places like that. I just think it's so fun. All right. And as I said, if you follow me the last little bit, I am a huge fan of Christmas. So uh, I cannot wait. All right. We are going to start by just laying our pieces down and making sure that everything fits and I looks pretty good okay so we're going to go ahead and just put that one down first so we're gonna do this little strip okay and then we're gonna do our emboss piece oh, I should probably use my Okay, so there's that and we're gonna go ahead and put our top piece down okay so that's great now we can go ahead and hear this down oh, oh. oh goodness sticking to my stuff okay there's that now, here is our snow globe, and you know what? I didn't pop it up on the first one. I'm actually gonna pop it up. I think that will be pretty cool to see what it looks like popped up. We'll put one in the middle. Oh, and I should probably put one up top. Just because I can never have enough dampened dimensionals. You find the backings everywhere. As I said, I hope you've had a great day. Uh, it's been very mild here in um, Ontario. The weather has been gorgeous, uh, but I think that's turning. We're gonna start getting cold again. We, it was warm and then it got cold, really cold, like to the point where I was wearing hats and mitts. And now we've been back to like shorts and t-shirts and sweaters and, but now I think it's gonna get cold again. All right. So there is our snow globe. Isn't that cute? Oh, I think that moved on me a bit. Let's just make sure. It's... Look how cute that is. It's not like that the cutest thing. Doesn't it make you just want to like shake the card? <laughs> All right. So I have the stamp set. I mean the banners. Sorry. I'm going to grab in the greeting and then grab in our poppy parade so the one thing i love about stampin up is that everything coordinates i pick my stamp set i pick my designer series paper and then i work from there so then i know in this pattern paper as i showed you that sampler at the beginning let me just bring it back in it shows i do these i like to do these and keep them with my paper pack because then i know what the coordinating colors are it's right here so I know when I'm working with this product, I know that these are the colors that I'm going to pull from and use in my project. Oops, sorry, I was up a little high. Um, so that's why I like to make these sampler sheets because I feel like it's a great way to have on hand so you can see what those colors are. Especially if you're a person who takes your paper out of the packs, then it's hard to know what that is. So one thing I like about Sampler Up, everything coordinates. That's a plus plus for me. All right, so what I did was, I wanted it to look like I layered it behind. Now, you can tell my banners are the same size. Yeah, I know, that's what we're gonna show you a little trick. So what I did was, I literally just trimmed one edge, I trimmed another edge, I put here, and then what I did was, I turned it around, and I went like that just to make it look like I had layered an image. Uh, sorry, not an image. I was looking. A second um, banner underneath. So you're just kind of creating like a little there. So it looks like you've created like two banners, but you've only used one. Now we're going to go ahead and pop that up. 
I tried to find a smaller banner or but I, I didn't have I just thought this was cute all right so there's that right there and we're going to bring in some pool party of those dots embellishments from the dots for days and we're just going to uh, put one there oh. put one there like he's just he, the snow globe he's just so excited the snowman is so happy it's snowing he's outside and he's having the best holiday season so here is card number two featuring the snowy wonder and the snow scenes designer series paper uh, so you can see just shows you a totally different look using the different snow globes how cute is that so that's card number two all right card number three um, uses I thought we would create I was looking to, to use the little penguins because the penguins are super cute so let me show you card number three. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's card number three. I thought it would be fun to create like my own little scene. So that's what we're using. So we are using a thick white as our base. Okay, we have a basic white. We have a piece of that designer series paper. And then I used, and I didn't grab the dot, deckled circles, which I used a lot. And I've showed you guys those. And one thing I like about them, they have like 14 different layers. So they're a great one. And actually, I can grab them. They're right here. Actually, I think I <laughs> So here's the deckled circles. Great for card making and amazing also for scrapbooking. Look how big this one is. I think it's almost like five and a half. Super nuts. Super good, super nice, super good one to have on hand. All right, and then I used a little label and that is from the Nestled Essential Dyes, which is another one of my favorite. As like you know, if you've been following me, I'm a huge fan of anything stitched um, and I love that you can layer, so that's one of my favorite things to do. So there's that. And there is a penguin uh, die in the, um, dies but he only kind of works with one but if you want like this it works with this one but then you miss the pom-pom so i was like that's not fun i want those pieces so um i decided to fussy cut so we're going to put this off to the side and i'm going to put this over here we're going to bring in the um stamp and cut again okay and we're going to use the Snowflake Sky embossing folder. This was one that carried over from last year. It was part of our holiday, okay, September to December. Stampin' Up! used to call it a holiday catalog. I really wish they would go back to holiday and spring. Um, it carried over, which I'm so excited um, because I really like it and I want to show you guys how fabulous this is. So you might want to add this to your shopping list if you haven't got this one. You would find this one in our online store under um, just online exclusives. So I love that it looks like you're in like a snowstorm. All right, so let's uh, put this back over here. Hopefully move it so it doesn't fall. Just looks like a pop down. Look at that piece. I'm not sure where that went. Can't leave that on the ground for my little man to find. Okay, so let's go ahead and secure this down. And I left it so the more the snowflakes were up at the top. We're going to, we can go ahead and hear this down now. All right, now we are going to bring back in that paper piercer just because we're stamping some solid trees and I wanna make sure that we have a good crisp 
stamp image. Okay, so there we're going to use Garden Green. So as you can see, I really, like I said, I pulled those colors that were in that. So I've been using Poppy Parade and Garden Green. We are going to stamp a tree up here. I wanted it to look like, like my tree, my little guy was in the forest. He's out on a cold winter day, out for a walk. So we can go ahead and pop this up. A tip, have a little container for your embellishments or like your backings. Okay, we're just gonna put that there. We're going to bring in that little cute, adorable penguin, and we're just going to fussy cut him out. Okay, there he is. He's all fussy cut out. We're going to pop him up with dimensionals. Oh, we only need one. In between the trees. And we're gonna stamp the greeting let it snow. So we're gonna bring that back, map back in just because it is one of those bigger solid words. Here's a tip too. I took our paper piercer and I covered it with grid paper so that when you stamp, you don't get the ink on the paper piercer mat, and then you'd be able to um, have a, you know, so like if I was to stamp it and it flipped over, I wouldn't have ink on it, so it's a good tip. All right, so there's that. We're done with that. We're just gonna pop that up and then we're done card number three. All right, there you go, card number three. Oh, I think I forgot the tape. Oh, I did take the backing on that one. Oh, I turned it crooked. Sorry, it was crooked. All right, card number three using the snowy wonder and the snowy scenes designer series paper isn't the little penguin cute card number three we're going to card number four now card number four was inspired by my good friend patty bennett when i was searching ideas for on pinterest i saw this idea and i was like oh my gosh i have to try this i've never tried this technique so i thought it would be a fun one now this is one technique that you can do with any themed paper. Doesn't necessarily have to be holiday, but I think you could do it with a lot. Garden green is our base and we're actually gonna go portrait. We have a piece of pool party. And what we're going to do is, let me show you the card first. I forgot to show you the card. And then I can show you. We are going to use the hexagon punch to create this fun little background scene showcasing our fabulous designer series paper. So let me show you how I did that. Okay, so we're just gonna set this off to the side because we don't really need that right now. So what I need for this is, um, so the first thing I did was I grabbed a whole bunch of patterned paper from the snowy scene and thought, hey, like what would be good patterns to work with? Then we're going to use the hexagon punch, which coordinates with the Hartfield hexagon stamp set. Um, and what I'm using this stamp set for is I like this little outer little dots and labels. So that's what we're going to use it, but we're going to focus on the, um, this. Okay, so let's start. So what I did was, I really liked this paper. 
And I was like, okay, let's just find a scene that we like and we're gonna pop that out. So I like that, let's pop that out. And we're just gonna put that like maybe, maybe down here, okay? So what I did was I kind of just layered it down like that. I knew I wanted the snowflakes. So we're just gonna punch out the snowflakes and maybe we'll put that up there. Um, I'm going to use some of the, oh, you know what? Let's go more with the red and green because I didn't use that pattern. We're going to use the red and green stripes or we can use that. We'll decide once we put it down. Now, I thought it would be cute to do the snowmen and I thought maybe I would try to get both of them in here. So you can see how I'm just, like I could punch that or I can move it around and work and get both of them. So let me just try to see. So right there. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start kind of placing where I think I want these. So I might put that up there, that there. All right. So now I'm going to bring in some other colors. Let's do, we'll do this. I'm not sure if we're going to use it yet. We'll put that one there. And I really liked the candy cane, so let me see if I can. And it's okay if I don't get all of it because we are going to put some off to the side. So we're just gonna leave that for a minute. So what we're gonna do now, because this is a piece that we really need, is we're going to bring back in that paper cursor mat. And what we're gonna do is we're going to use the Heartfelt Hexagon, and we're going to use this one right here. I really like that one. So on this one, okay, so I'm just gonna put that down. Okay, so I did red words with green. So let's switch it to opposite. So we're gonna do red outline. Oh, darn it. I uh, should have came up a little higher. Let me see if I can. All right, that's one thing about ink and paper, right? Paper has two sides. So you can flip it over if you make a mistake. It's okay if you make mistakes. I always tell the students at school, it's okay to make a mistake. That's how you learn. It's how you learn to grow that skill. All right, just like stamping. If you make a mistake, you just flip it over. All right, so there's that. We're going to bring back in our garden green, and we're going to use the, se the season greeting stamp set. in there like that. okay I'm going to close that up okay I'm going to put this away especially these little photopalmer stamps you really want to make sure you put them away because if they stick to a stamp set or to a block you're going to be searching forever for it all right, so let's, I can put this away, I don't need that anymore. Let's bring in that hexagon punch. And we're just going to line it up and punch it, okay? So we're done with that. Now, so what I kind of did when I was creating my card, I kind of went this in the middle, and then I literally just put my pieces so that they were kind of like centering off the next one. So I like this guy, so we'll put him there. I really like the scene, so we'll put that, let's do opposite so it's not so busy. Now, well I'm just gonna lay this here because I'm not sure if I want that one. And then we'll do a little of that and maybe a little of the candy canes. So I kind of like just layered it and make sure you can bring it in a little closer to see. Oh, that is wonky. Look at that. Oh, maybe it's just the way, maybe it's the pattern. Oh, it's the pattern that's driving me crazy. I was like, why does that not look right? But it is right that way. It's just the way the pattern is going here. Oh, that's going to drive me crazy. We're flipping it. Can you see what I see? Mean. So on this one, it looks great. 
But when I flip it, does it not look like the lines, the shape is slanted? Yeah, we can't have that on our eyes. Okay, so I like that placement. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop this one up. there. Then we're going to work on gluing these down. And I'm actually going to bring in my silicone sheet for this just because we're not going to want to get it. Now, I know they fell off, but that's okay. We'll place it back together. So we're just going to go like that. And see what I'm doing is I'm just like lining this side up with that side. Same there. I think this is a really, like I said, a fun technique. I saw it on my friend Patty Bennett's blog. Um, and I was like, I need to give that a try. And I'm so glad I did because I really like the look and I feel it's one that you could easily switch out for different holidays. But I also think it's one card that you could easily mass produce. All right, so it looks like that. Now what we're gonna do is we're literally just going to, you can use your paper trimmer, whatever you like. I'm just gonna use my paper snips. I flip it over and all I do is just trim it off. Let's bring that up. Okay. Okay, so there is what our card looks like. Isn't that fun? There's so much you can do with it. I just think it's a fun pat like technique to switch out the patterns. And you can make those scenes look as busy or as like not so busy. I think it would be fun to do for birthdays. Um, oh, like I like got Valentine's card would look cool like that. All right, so we have that. We're gonna bring back in those um, dots and we're gonna go with the pool party. And we're just gonna oh, put them there like that. Okay, so there is card number four featuring the Snowy Wonder Bundle in the um, Snowy Scenes Designer Series paper. Let me just move, I'm gonna clean up my desk here so I have room to show you all the cards. All right, are you ready? So this is card number four. Okay, card number three. Card number two. And card number one. I want to say thank you for crafting with me tonight. I hope that maybe you were relaxing and you found this very like soothing and you know just fun and you're thinking wow those are really great cards I want to create my own. You can and it, you don't have to figure out the process. I've done that for you. All you need to do is head to my blog which is www.stampwithan.com. Click shop now and place an online order. And your order, if it's over $50 before shipping and taxes, I will send you the supplies to make these four cards. So you'll get the cardstock, the embossed pieces, you'll get the pattern paper, you'll get all the die cuts, the ribbon and embellishments. The only thing I can't do for you is stamp the greetings. So if you want your cards to look exactly like mine, you're going to want to order the Snowy Wonder Bundle. And you're thinking, hey, you know what? I just love the concept. Maybe you have some Christmas stamps you want to use at home. You're more than welcome to use that too. So how is this going to work? I will upload this video um, and post it to my YouTube and on my blog. And then I will, uh, so I'll upload the video and I'll share it to my blog. So you'll have all the 
they'll watch this video over and over. But if you want the PDF and the instructions on how to make the cards, then place an order and I can send that to you via email if you're here in Canada. If you're not in Canada and you're globally, you know what? I have a PDF store. So go to my blog, www.shopwithann, and click um, uh, in, up in the tabs. It'll say PDF store. It might be hidden in one of, their, one of the things. But then you can buy any of my past these class kits, classes to go, especially if you're out of province or out of the Canada, because I can't sell outside of Canada. But that's a win-win for everybody. You can still purchase the PDF, which I sell them for $15 here in Canada. All right, so I do have a busy few next days. So my goal is to blog. I'm going to hopefully try to get a blog post in tonight, if not tomorrow night, then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, and as I said, make sure to subscribe to my Stamp of Anne page because I will be doing some behind the scenes on Saturday at my event. Plus, make sure you subscribe to my emails because you're going to get a weekly recap every Sunday of the projects I do, which links you back to all the blog posts that I put. Plus, you're the first ones to find out Monday morning what our projects will be for the week. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your evening, a fabulous rest of your week, and I will be back Monday to, with you to stamp with some new projects and a scrapbook page. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me and have a great night. Bye, everyone.